Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another haul. So, um, this is a pretty big Timu haul. So let me just start sharing everything. So I've been I've been working on trying to figure out how I want to reorganize some of my things. Um, I noticed that my sequins um, containers that I got some from Michaels, some from Hobby Lobby, some from Amazon. Um, <clears throat> it's the one in the purple binders they're kind of getting ratty and like shredding. So um, I was thinking maybe I should like switch over to a different system. So I wanted to test this out and I'm pretty, I like it. Like I got a set of three um, and it has, I like the fact that it's clear so you can see what's inside and it has these really good dispensers. So, and I think it'll hold quite a bit. So I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna switch over to this kind of system. Um, when I go when I redo my craft room so I'm gonna try and get more of these I'll probably get one for every color like uh one for red one for pink you know that kind of stuff so I got a set of three um so I'll probably order more of those okay the next part of my haul is um I got a few dyes so I guess I'm not sure um these kind of remind me of the lawn fawn dye I don't know if it it is exactly like it is but I must have thought it was really cute so I got this and then I wanted to get, actually wanted to get this rainbow um, because I've been seeing people post about it. And I think it's really cute if you, especially if you attach it to acetate. Um, so I don't know if you remember when I did the um, pop-up platform die with the sister stamps. And I told you that somebody had done a rainbow background using acetate. Um, I want to try to do that with this. Hopefully it fits. Um, I thought that this rainbow was super cute too, so I picked that rainbow up. And then I did get some of these dyes, which I don't know <clears throat> if it's actually Cocorosa, but I first saw them on the Cocorosa site. And I wanted to get them, but the shipping was just super high. I think it was like 20 something dollars. And I didn't want to pay that much just for shipping when the dyes themselves weren't that much. So I, um, I don't know, it just so happened I found it on Timu. And the cool thing, I think these are cards or you can make them into like minis. Um, but this folds and this folds and then it looks like a little book. And then this is like the tab to hold it closed. So I, I kind of like that. So this is a similar version of it where this will then um, be like the closure part and this flips this way. And then this one too. So this one comes with the extra set of like butterflies. But it folds over and then that folds over. And so I kind of like that style. Um, so that's why I got those. Um, since I found them on the Timu site. And then the rest of my stuff is mostly cabochons. Because um, now everything's starting to come in. But I did find these. I thought they were super cute. So these are um, crocheted strawberries. And I asked my niece to make me, but she hasn't sent them to me yet. But I thought that these were super cute and I could use them in some of my swaps. So this is the pink strawberry with the flowers. And then this one is um, a red strawberry, but I think it's, is this kind of peaching? Oh, no, it's similar. It's similar. It's just like this, except it's red and it's larger. And then I thought this was super cute. It's like a little... It's like a little flower arrangement, like for your desk. Um, but I, the thing now that I'm looking at it, we just watched um, Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of like, what is her name? Audrey. I think that's pretty funny. But anyway, I still like it. So um, I got those. And then um, this is not Cabochon. So let me share this. So <clears throat> I got this because I thought it was really cute. Um, it reminds me of like Japanese in Japan. We have um, what we call kanzashi, and it's like like ornaments for your hair. But these are like these are really pretty. Like I don't remember seeing anything like this in Japan. But I love that you know when it has the dangles and stuff like that. It's having a hard time focusing. Okay, like that. Um. Anyway, so I I I really liked it, so I picked it up and I can use it on um you know projects so i got that and then this is not um a capuchon so i'll share this this is um i saw these on poochie's video so these are like um cute bow clasps that you can dangle charms from and i've seen these before and i've always wanted to kind of purchase them but i didn't 
until now. So I got, I figured I'd start with a set of paint. And then if I really like it, then I can get the other colors. I'm starting to do that more, like try it out first instead of just buying like a million of them. Because like, what if you don't like it, right? And then these, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what they are. It was described as like PV. Um, they're, they feel kind of like silicone-y. But they're cute, right? They're like, oh, my melodies. And this one feels like more like a sticker. I don't know. But I really like them. I think they're super cute. So I got those. <clears throat> I'm hoping to use them on a project. And then I think the rest are either beads or cabochons. So let's just go through it and see what we got. Okay, so um, as I mentioned on my last AliExpress haul, which you should watch before this, um, that I was looking for larger sized um, cabochons. So this one looks like the Hello Kitty bow, which is why I got it. But I didn't realize it was a hair clip. So I can always take that off. But um, I got that in a set of two. <clears throat> I figure I can always use those on projects, especially for deco them. Okay, let's go through all the beads first. So this is, um, I've had these in my cart for a while. These are really pretty. They're like um, iridescent sakura that are pink and you can always put like something in the middle um, but I thought those I could use either for decadent or for regular projects this one is a lighter version so there there was like kind of like an ombre feel to this pack as you can see one is darker than the other I'm gonna try lighten it up on my video because the sun is going down so it's super dark right now okay I didn't open this one yet so let's open this so these are just smaller sized of those same type but this is a really really light pink pearly looking one and then I got I have some more of those oh here so then I got a red I can open it okay, okay. um sometimes you need red and I don't use red that often but um I wanted to have some options so see how it's kind of ombre looking like that one is darker than that one um, but I thought they were really nice. And a lot of times when I do Hello Kitty stuff, I like to use red with Hello Kitty. Um, I know I have more. Here's another one. So this one is more like a mixed bag um, to give you different options. So I like that I get a little bit of blue, pink, and yellow. It's hard to see the different colors. But... And then I think there's even some red in here as well. Is that all the sakuras? Oh, and then white. So this one is just, it's, this one is like the, these light pink ones, but then they're like a pearly white instead. Okay, so that, um, I think that's all for that. Okay, so let's get into the other stuff. So this is um, some lollipop cabochons. And I can't remember if they only came in a multi-pack, but I really like them. I thought they were cute. They have... Um, the little sprinkles, the heart sprinkles on top. That's super cute. So, that up. Like I said earlier, I was looking for like candy um, for the for when I do those decodens. Oh, here's another sakura. This one has like gold tips, but it's all red. I thought I got all the sakura ones. I guess not. Okay. Um, okay, let's look at more candy. So I got some M&M's and it comes in all different colors. So who doesn't like M&M's, right? Okay, so M&M's. And then I got some chocolate bars in different colors. Yeah, it even has the chocolate color. And then I got some heart cookies or macarons in the same pastel colors. So they look like this, but then they have the cream on the side and these pastels. Um, these are really cute. They're like, just like frosting dollop things. I think there was a candy that looked like this before, um, but they're cute. I like that. Almost like a Hershey Kiss looking, yeah? Okay, this one is just different kind of candies. I think I bought this because I like the colors because it was like brighter than some of the other ones I was looking at. So in case you need a project with brighter colors, good to have a variety. Um, oops, dropping. Okay. 
And then this one is, um, these are popsicles. I thought these were cute. They're like um, different, like ombre, like layered looking popsicles. And then here's some Mickey lollipops, like swirly ones. I thought that these were cute. So I got those. And then what else did I get? Okay, so, I don't know. Oh, here are these. Okay, so these, I, I did not know how small they were. So, just beware if you're gonna click on my link that these are not very big. So look how tiny they are. They're not quite nail charms, but they're not like big or regular sized cabochons. But they're so cute. So these are like little rainbows with clouds. So I got that. And then... Um, let's see. So these are these are just both. So um, this is like a test one because I found more of these that I liked, but I wanted to see how big it was. Um, it's a pretty good size, and it is a um, it is a bead, so you can you can um, string it right. Um, but I really like how it has that iridescent look. So and it comes in other colors, so I might pick up the other colors too. I just wanted to see how big it was. Um, I really like these, so I got some of these in a mix. That I got from Amazon, but I wanted something with just these. These are so cute. These are like unicorn. Um, they're polymer clay, but they're like unicorn lollipops that you can get like at Disneyland or theme parks and stuff like that. So I got a set of that. It smells like clay. It totally smells like polymer clay. Um, and then I got this. This is like okay. So I bought like Daiso, um, kind of like this, where it's like a variety of different mixed like i don't know ephemera i don't know what to call it but um embellishments i guess but i wanted red and they didn't have red so when i saw this on aliexpress or timu i picked up the red one just in case i needed red stuff um because i will be doing like some strawberry stuff yeah and then this is um i guess it's just like strawberry nail art it's pretty small it's cute though this one is like sakura I guess it's nail art. I don't know. They're super small though. And this is like all different colors. Look how tiny it is. Can you even see it? Super tiny. But it's a little dimensional. Like it's not just flat. Like it kind of cups a little. Um, so that comes in all of these different colors. Okay. Almost done, you guys. Last one. Oh no, not last one. Almost last one. Um, so I found these. These are really cute. They're um, sakura beads, which I've never seen before. Um, but they are sakura looking. Look. And um, they come in different pastel colors. So this is like a lavender, yellow, peach, pink, blue, and white. But you, I think you could also buy them in the their own, like a whole pack of white if you wanted to. And then I found these. I think these are really cool. Yeah, I guess they're actually hair barrettes, but they're like ribbon butterflies. Let me see if I can make that. Maybe I can try to make that myself. But it is like glued to a hair clip, but I'm sure I can take it off. Um, but it's kind of like that Kanzashi style where you like fold the ribbon and stuff. But I thought that was really cute in the rainbow colors. And I think this is the last thing that I see. I think that I didn't show yet. So this is, um, as you can tell, I'm buying more strawberry stuff. But this is actually, look, it's a little... It's a strawberry mug. Oh my god, it's so cute. Um, but I thought you could use it like as a dangle. But it's so cute. And then and it only came in a set of two. So that is my Timo haul. Um, I probably want to go pick up more of those bead um, containers for my sequins. But anyway, I I think I got all of my orders in now. Pretty much all of them. Maybe I have a few more AliExpress coming in. But overall, I think everybody's kind of caught up on shipping. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.